Hey everybody, it's your boy, and today we're going to be looking at an article where, once again, a Hollywood actress raises her voice and says something absolutely stupid. And this comes from Bounding Into Comics, and it says, Amazon's The Expanse actress Jean Yoon calls for Fox News to be banned for hate speech. Yes, this is what we're dealing with today, guys. Are you sitting comfortably? We'll begin. Amazon's The Expanse actress Jean Yoon, who played Captain Teresa Yao in season one, called for Fox News to be banned for hate speech. Now, what could Fox News possibly have done that could constitute being accused of hate speech? Is it the fact that they have Tucker Carlson on? Or is it any of the other myriad hosts who go on there and talk drivel all day? Not that Tucker Carlson necessarily talks drivel, but the rest of them do. They're very much a mainstream outlet that lean right they're basically rhinos as everybody knows but they're so mainstream that YouTube hasn't banned them yet they're allowed on the platform and can pretty much do whatever CNN can do but let's continue Yoon's call to ban Fox News came after former New York Times columnist Anand Girid Haridas asked his followers on Twitter, it's time for this question to be front and centre. Should Fox News be allowed to exist? Brain mashing as a business model shouldn't be legal. That's pot calling the kettle black, Anand. Your paper does nothing but brain mash on a daily basis. But why am I expecting people like Anand to be so self-aware? But the thing is, this has been a long time coming. Fox News has been trudging along recently, trying to become more never Trumper, even though most of the hosts, the right wing pundits on there, have been largely against Trump, except for Tucker, who's vacillated between not really caring to being pro-Trump until recently when he tried to tell him to just give in. Largely, it's followed the mainstream party line. It's it's a rhino news source, as I said. But you know what? Eventually, the left would tire of their strange alliance with the rhinos and the neocons and would turn on them. And lo and behold, already the gears are getting into motion and calls for their banning is finally happening. In a follow-up tweet, he implied Fox News is promoting terrorism. He wrote, I'm not a lawyer, but I I don't understand why you're not allowed to manufacture bucatini that doesn't have a certain threshold of iron in it, but you can broadcast brain mashing falsehoods and goad people toward terrorism. Now, is this a reference to the Capitol Hill issue? In what way were Fox News trying to tell people to go out there and commit terrorism, even though no terrorism was actually committed, unless you count storming the Capitol because the police didn't protect it well enough as terrorism? Fox News apparently enabled that, even though they were calling for Trump to stand down. But you know what? You're exactly right, Anand. You are not a lawyer. And it shows. Later in his thread, he would outright accuse Fox News and other unnamed media outlets of promoting terrorism. He wrote, 12% of Americans supported the terrorist insurrection on the Capitol after the fact. You cannot pin this only on leaders. This has been institutionalised incitement in which the media played a giant role and democracy is endangered by it. So what you're saying is you are responsible for the BLM and Antifa rioting that went on pretty much all through the summer and early autumn of 2020 because you lot have been constantly inciting leftists to go out and hurt right-wingers. But you know what? It's okay when you do it. But you know what? I'm not a lawyer as well, so I can't really make such judgments on you, can I? Anand would continue his thread writing. Are there huge questions of a slippery slope? Of course. Could this regulation be abused? Of course. There are hard things we'd have to figure out. But none of that means to me that a business model of incitement and falsehood is absolutely protected. Well, you better be careful, Anand, because that could end up biting you in the ass. Just ask the serfs. Next, he requested suggestions on how to to harm Fox News and other media outlets' business that he personally disagrees with. Girid Haradas wrote, and in the interim, I'd love to hear more of the bottom-up ways people suggest. The advertiser pressure has worked. I've heard talk of cable subscribers demanding incitement-free packages. What are the other mechanisms you see? Well, I suggest that you might want to scrub some of the articles that you've been writing and what other people in the New York Times have been writing in defense of Antifa and BLM and so-called largely peaceful protests, because I think you'll find that once the state sees that you lot have been engaging in terrorist-like action, they might want to clamp down on that. You might want to clean up house first before you try and go after Fox News. Just a thought, Yoon would respond to Girid Haradas's initial tweet asking if Fox News should be completely erased from existence. She wrote, yes, as a Canadian, watching the Fox-driven birtherism lie, I was gobsmacked even after the lie was disproven. You then added Fox spews poison into US civic discourse. Freedom of speech cannot extend to hate speech, knowing lies, especially for a broadcast network. Yes, and CNN and many other mainstream left 
right-wing organisations like NSNBC famously were going on and on and on about Russia hacking into the 2016 election and helping Trump win it. As we know, and as was later proven, it was false, but they still continued to go on and on and on about election interference. And then as soon as evidence, real evidence, comes out that Joe Biden may have rigged the election, oh, apparently that's sedition, that's lies, that's slander, how dare you do that? Yeah, I don't think you lot should be talking about spreading lies, debunked lies at that. And besides, you're a Canadian, and I've got news for you. Hate speech is not a thing in America. Yoon also recently showed her complete lack of understanding about the governmental structure of the United States being a republic. The actress retweeted Mother Jones writer Ari Berman, who posted to Twitter, This is how undemocratic US Senate is. 15 states with 38 million people elect 30 GOP senators. California with 40 million people elects 2 Dems. A 20-40-30% of America will elect 70 senators. 70% of America will elect only 30. But as we know, America is not a democracy, it's a republic. And the reason why the Electoral College exists is because if it didn't exist, the two coastlines, the East and the West, would be basically picking the president every election. And as we know, in the middle of America, the so-called flyover states is where a lot of people live, even if they're not the majority of the population and need representation, which is why that exists, to make things more fair. You only have to look at certain blue states where the rural areas surround these urban areas and are completely red, but the urban areas are blue and they're the ones that shift that state blue. That's what would happen on a countrywide scale. And then the article goes on to explain to you just how wrong she is and how the electoral system works, which I already mentioned before. But anyway, this has been a long time coming. Fox News has been allowed to drift, so to speak, in the mainstream as the only real right-wing source. I mean, you do have like the National Review and things like that, but they're print-based. Fox News are the only real right-wing cable news network. And because they're so mainstream, because they're so rhino and neocon, and because at the moment they're in league with each other, them and the leftists and the neoliberals in order to fight Trump, they've been allowed to exist, despite the fact that Tucker Carlson is on there. But I guess now that they're no longer useful, now that their never Trumper stance, at least largely anyway, is no longer necessary because Trump is no longer in power, it's time that the rest of the left attack these useful idiots. Now, will they succeed? Will they try and get Fox News banned? Will they try and get Fox News taken off air at least? Well, we don't know, do we? Because we currently have one of the most extreme Democrat cabinets, the most extreme Democrat presidency we've ever seen. Joe Biden's cabinet and his advisors are stock full of far leftists. So it wouldn't surprise me that if enough pressure is lobbied against these people, they might as well attempt to ban it. But problem is, these people have the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court is largely conservative at this very moment. Limp dick conservatives, but conservatives nonetheless. And they would quickly strike this down if it had to go to them because, well, you can't ban a cable news like Fox News because of so-called lies and incitement of terrorism. First, they actually have to prove that they try to incite people. And then Fox News, their lawyers can simply turn around and say, well, look what CNN and NSNBC News have been doing for the past four years. Actually, far be it for us to say a little bit longer than that. They've been doing nothing but inciting people into terrorist-like action. You only have to look at the riots recently to see what they've been doing and the lengths they went to try and pass this off as just peaceful protests when clearly they were not. You can also point to the leftist media silencing the Hunter Biden allegations and that news story, which potentially could have sank Biden's election chances, it should have done. Because that pretty much proved that, contrary to what the left were saying to people, actually it's the Democrats who are in league with Russia and China and they making shady deals amongst other shady practices. So I think they'll fail to get them banned because the Supreme Court currently is largely conservative and I don't think that they will want to see something like this violate the First Amendment. But again, you don't know. You don't know. But may this be a lesson for Fox News. Stick by your principles, if you have any, and don't sign with leftists. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later.